structure. Uh, and it's called Shelter in Place, Seneca Falls, New York. A gunman inside a spa and wax center continued to exchange gunfire with the police, the authorities said on Saturday after a shooting spree that has left at least 15 women injured and two police officers dead. People in the surrounding Deerfield Mall have been told to shelter in place, meaning take refuge in smaller windowless spaces. Diane Dean, the police spokeswoman, described the gunman as white with brown hair. Nonetheless, he is believed to be, although he has not yet been confirmed to be, 32-year-old Stephen Crenshaw, an elementary school janitor. His sister, Susan Crenshaw, has identified his Camry Toyota, which the gunman parked diagonally in front of Michael's, a craft supply store, before beginning his rampage. The license plate number of the Camry's Toyota also belongs to the same Stephen Crenshaw who was briefly detained in connection to the shooting of a vacant van in January of this year. According to his profile on the dating website, OK, buy me a drink, <laughs> he is looking for a woman who is cool and easygoing, but not a yoga teacher. <laughs> The gunman entered Calandia Spa and Wax and initially asked, gun in hand, if anyone believed in money. Darcy Van Jort, a 35-year-old mother of two, sat behind a shelving unit, her hands fanned out, her nails wet. I heard him asking, but it didn't seem serious, but then I heard something or felt something, it was like an alarm. Before gunshots rang out, Van Jort fell low to the ground. She made her way to an exit through a back corridor with the help of the store manager, Katia Benkowski, and a nail technician, Mary Lee. The trio hid outside behind a refuse container, the pale sky thick with snowfall, until police sirens arrived, signaling safety. Susan Crenshaw, who believes her brother is the gunman, insists that she has asked for help countless times. Only two days before, police spoke to her brother with whom she lives. I told them he wasn't on his medication, she says. She also complained that her brother had been urinating and defecating on himself. You could see it on his pants. According to Miss Crenshaw, police told her that unless her brother was in immediate danger or hurting himself or others, there was no legal grounds for hospitalization. When they left, Miss Crenshaw states, they told her to demand her brother shower and change. <laughs> Dr. Hira Gupta, who is Stephen Crenshaw's psychiatrist, wrote on Twitter within minutes of the attack, I am simply saddened by this violence. Part of Steve's illness is that he doesn't understand stuff, Miss Crenshaw says. At his last session, he told Dr. Gupta his insurance had been canceled and a doctor made him pay $150 out of pocket, even though he knows Steve's been on Medicare and will never not be on Medicare. How is that okay? An unidentified bystander listening to Miss Crenshaw's comments told her to shut up. <coughs> Uh, a sergeant, John C. McCabe, also asked Miss Grenshaw to please refrain from identifying the shooter until he is apprehended and formally charged. I'm not saying he's likable, innocent, Miss Crenshaw st stated, wiping fallen snow out of her lashes. I'm just telling you who you're dealing with. The gunman continues to fire rounds from a window on the second floor of the spa and wax center. Crossfire has decimated the Palandia sign down to a single, limply affixed D. The destruction gun violence causes is maddening, the state senator Blake Bone, a Democrat, has announced, while the National Rifle Association was also quick to respond, releasing this statement. Doctors should ask patients if they are gun owners, plain and simple. The victims of Palandia Spa have not yet been identified. Two hospitals in the area have confirmed 15 patients with injuries. The extent of those injuries have not been reported. An 86-year-old man, Ray Raymond McCoy, who was also evacuated from the parking lot, stood behind police lines, bewildered. His granddaughter had, ne had nearly been shot in a Batman screen months before. 
This just keeps happening, he said. Who are these people? Thank you.